What's up, everybody? It's Matt Schmidt here. I want to welcome you to Smart Academy Month 1. We're going to be talking about sourcing some products from Etsy, listing it on our store, and running some ads. This is a quick overview of what you're going to be seeing in the next five video series. We're going to be finding our product in this video, uh, which we'll be going over the shoulder into Etsy, You know, doing exactly what I would do if I was going to be sourcing a product from Etsy. Uh, in the next couple of videos, we're going to be talking about sourcing that product, right? We're going to be contacting our supplier there, listing our product uh, for success on our site, um, and then targeting and running ads, of course. So we'll be resourcing from Etsy.com for our product this week. Next, uh, The next month, we will be sourcing from somewhere else. But we're going to be focusing on Etsy here today. Like every source, we have to understand the platform first, right? Uh, Etsy is a very different platform than maybe AliExpress or some of the other ones. And we got to understand that uh, just to make sure that we're set up for success. Etsy is a very personal product platform. Uh, everything that's created on there has a little bit more of a personal touch than it's created maybe in a more mass manufactured way. It's great for jewelry and personalized items. There's plenty of other stuff you can get from there, but those are the ones that I really like and they really stand out most of the time. We might be able to find something else here today. Suppliers range from mom and pops to manufacturers. It's very important to know that that is the case, right? Because if we do understand that, we don't get ourselves put into a situation where we maybe list a product from a mom and pop on our store and then sell thousands of them and that mom and pop can't keep up. We need to make sure that we align ourselves with someone who can supply our products. And then feedback on Etsy is for the supplier and the product. I'm going to show you to make sure that you understand exactly what to look for uh, and the differences between those. Uh, when you're going into Etsy, let's have an idea in mind for who you want to be selling to. Uh, it's very important that you kind of attack that first, right? So if I wanted to go after moms or if I wanted to go after nurses or if I wanted to go after some other niche, it's important that I just have at least that idea in mind so I can kind of direct myself through the ocean, uh, so to speak, of Etsy. Look through Etsy and be open to products, right? Uh, you know, just because you have an idea of who you want to sell to doesn't mean that has to be the, the people that you end up with. And uh, you're more than happy to or, or able to change your niche uh, when you're sourcing here, especially when you're getting started. Um, but you want to make sure that you're open to products because a lot of times on Etsy, you get to find something really creative and really cool that somebody thought of. Um, and the good thing about that is it's unique and usually unique products sell very well. Once you find your product, check the supplier ratings and products favorited number. Uh, we're going to go through both of those as well. Evaluate the price and make sure you can sell it with a margin. It really doesn't matter if you find a awesome product. If you can't sell it at a profitable price, um, it, it's no good to you, right? So we need to make sure that we uh, it's not a crazy high product to begin with, some kind of product that we can, um, of course, sell for a margin, hopefully like a 50% margin, something like that. So if it costs $1, you can sell it for two or more. Um, but also in our next video, when we're contacting our supplier, uh, we'll hopefully be able to get that cost down in a wholesale or some other kind of manner when we evaluate uh, our suppliers and contact them and so on and so forth. So let's go over the shoulder real quick. Uh, and of course, in the next video, we will be talking about contacting the supplier. But so let's go over the shoulder real quick and search Etsy for a product. Uh, at the time of cutting this video, Mother's Day has just ended, um, but I want to utilize that opportunity to kind of just teach you guys how to search for something like moms uh, because Mother's Day is a big seller, especially on products that you can find from Etsy. So let's type moms in here. And that's super simple, right? You do that pretty much on any platform. You kind of just start utilizing their search feature to see what's going on here. Um, and then we talked about jewelry and personalized items. Personalized items can fall probably into any of this. The reason I like jewelry is A, it's typically pretty unique on this site. Uh, B, there might have a good manufacturing process in place um, because jewelry typically needs it. Uh, and then C, 
is the margin that comes with jewelry. So let's go ahead and open this up. And what I want to do is just kind of scroll through here and see if something pops out. The reason I want something to pop out to me, even though I'm not a mother, is that that means that their marketing is pretty good, right? And when we contact our supplier or suppliers in the next video, we're going to be asking if we can utilize the images that they have. So if their images are good, that gives us a jump start. Uh, and, and of course, we want not only the images to be good, but the product to be good, but that's going to be covered second. I really like this bear necklace. I had seen it before. Let's go in here and check this out. Uh, it's a great example of something that I think the supplier isn't currently um, utilizing to its fullest uh, because I don't see, when I looked in here before, I didn't see the different versions of Mama you know, mom or mommy or any of the other stuff that you might be called by your child uh, that you might want to hang on this. So that's an opportunity for you to work with the supplier and make even something that's more unique. But let's review this product really quick. Um, so it's a hand stamped necklace. Um, that is something to pay attention to, right? Because it might uh, limit us in the amount of these that we can sell. Um, and rose gold, copper rose gold, which I'm not entirely sure what that means. Uh, something to look into. And then we have some options here on length. What I would want to do in, is contact in the next uh, video and ask what's the best seller here. Uh, because I don't want a whole lot of options on my site when I'm doing this. I don't want, um, I want to streamline uh, a lot of things. And I, I'll tell you more about that in the next video. So handmade item like we had above. Um, so we want to figure out the production capability. Um, rose gold, uh, the materials look good. A made to order, right? So it's going to limit our, um, how, you know, there's not a whole lot of these just sitting on hand. Uh, and then ships worldwide from the United States. So the, the turnaround time for if you're selling in the States might be pretty good. So now we have two levels of ratings that we need to pay attention to. We have feedback, which is going to be a supplier level uh, rating, right? So any review that's done is for the supplier as a whole and any products that they sell, not particularly this product. And then favorited by. So this is a rating that's similar to maybe a share or one of the deeper level, um, one of the deeper level or put on like Pinterest when you put it on your board. I would put this as something that's um, a little deeper level than maybe a like. But it shows interest, but it doesn't show any money that's been laid on the line or you know paid um, for this item. Etsy doesn't allow a good way for you to do that. What you can see though is if you click on the the supplier icon here, you can see how many sales in total have been done. So, three thousand two hundred and twenty-five sales. So going back, we had. 4,591 people favorite this. So there's a lot more people favoriting this item or all of the items than possibly making the sales. So what do we do about that? Uh, it might be just something that we take note of. Uh, it might be the price point of the item, right? It might be the marketing as a whole. It might be the um, you know, just it, it's maybe not the right item or it's not optimized right for Etsy. It doesn't mean that this item isn't viable. And that's an important thing to uh, to understand. We just want to see um, A, if we have a niche for this and B, if this product is going to be able to be sold to that niche. I think it would be um, for your hunters, uh, your hunting moms or uh, moms that live in certain areas or more outdoorsy um, campers. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different, you know, hikers. There's a bunch of different ways I could take this out into the market and sell it. Uh, so the the maybe the one thing too is not all everybody's called mama. Maybe they need to put mom on here or something like that, and then go back out into the market. But the general concept is important. So that is a uh, first stab at this. So let's go through it again. Let's go back out. Let's back all the way out and say moms. 
um, and then go for maybe home and living. I don't know. Let's see what we can come up with here. Kind of just scroll through here and see what pops out. Coffee mugs, kind of the same concept, right? Which is cool um, because you might be able to, if you did list that necklace, you might be able to use these as maybe an average order bump um, down the road. That's something that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's check this out. Home is where your mom is. Seems to be a fairly popular saying. Um, so moms who love cooking interests, cooking shows, uh, might be somebody who really liked this. Um, obviously, um, there's some other possibilities with it. Just moms in general don't have to leave. Everybody has something like this in their home. Um, but it's a good place to start and get some some data behind it. So let's look through the product. It's only 14 bucks, so I'm wondering, it's made out of bamboo. Um, that's a low enough price, and maybe if we sold it for 30 bucks, um, it's still in that sweet spot of, you know, 20 to 50 bucks of, you know, the t-shirt kind of pricing um, size. Yeah, again, so that's a small one, so there's some other big ones too. Only ships within the United States, that's important. Uh, made to order, again, so maybe not a lot of um, inventory, but you know, Etsy really kind of has people putting these on there uh, to begin with, uh, regardless as, from what I've seen. Um, and then we have 1,702 reviews on the supplier, and then it's favorited by 752. Let's check out how many sales in general for the store. 8,333 sales. So there's definitely some ones out here that have been selling. Maybe these are the, um, this might be the more popular items. Let's see what they got here. No, just kind of featured there. So let's go back to this one, stick on this one. If you wanted to go in here, you could check out the reviews. He's got five star reviews. Um, it has straight up five star review after 1,702 reviews. That's really good. Um, and this is a viable option for us um, with a lot of different things that we might be able to build our relationship with, uh, with our supplier. If this really pops off for us, we can get some other stuff on there um, and work with them on that. So that's it for this video, guys. We're gonna be contacting our supplier in the next video um, and starting to talk about what questions to ask, um, and then hopefully get some feedback from them um, and get this product listed if everything has been met. Okay, I will see you in the next video.